I'm Deborah Borchardt. I'm the CEO of Green Market Report, and this is our Green Market Summit. This is um, our first time in Chicago. Our last conference was in New York City. Uh, so I want to thank you so much for attending. The best ability is availability. So if your brand is in a lot of places, that's how you create subconscious relationships with people. I've seen that before. I've seen it in all these places. I'm kind of trusting it a bit more. We would never buy a brand more than once in almost any other category if one day it was amazing and one day it was terrible. Cannabis is able to flex into the um, kind of health and healing space, the wellness space, and then of course, um, you know, the kind of the more playful recreational space. I think in the next five years, what you're going to see is of course more licenses opening up. The states become more comfortable with the idea that dispensaries are great for communities. In the cannabis industry, these people are actually energized. They're excited, they have personality, a wherewithal about them that is completely different, that we actually enjoy the conversations. They estimate about 250,000 Americans are employed by cannabis companies currently. What do we need this person to look like to be successful in this role? It's just being incredibly agile, flexible. Change is the only thing that's constant in this industry. This event was incredible. I spoke to marketing leads, CEOs, CMOs, and really got a lot of education and knowledge in what it takes to be in this industry. It's common for people to say this is no longer the cannabis industry, this is now the compliance industry, because that is the main um, term and method of engagement at all levels. Investing in compliance, um, on the front end is, is much more cost effective than responding to a compliance crisis on the back end. What we're working towards in, you know, in hemp is a national supply chain. People can cultivate in one area, process in another place, and sell it you know, in all 50 states. The hemp market long term is about disruption and is about fiber. I think it's, it's great that, that there is an organization that puts events like this so that the people can have access to that information. I really appreciate the women that were here that were talking and speaking and just connecting with people and helping each other out. Having a woman in any C-level position other than marketing will impact your profitability and return on investment. The big future opportunity is going to continue to be in finished products or in products that you add to something else, so supplements and, and things along those lines. We happen to be one of the most restrictive, most difficult states to open up in. I think there's some concern around if we let too many people in too quickly, how, how are we going to manage the market as well? If you look at the map now from where the 55 dispensaries are located, the map of Illinois, there are some big holes. Um, part of that is because there were, I believe, a handful of licenses that were never awarded or were awarded and the dispensaries never open. And I'm not sure that we can get by on 50 or 55 dispensaries for the entire state if we're going to have adult use. You network, you have an opportunity to meet folks who are in the industry and who've been doing this for many years and can give you a lot of feedback on, on the do's and don'ts. I would recommend the Green Market Summit to anyone looking to learn more about cannabis and the industry and any business professional within the industry. It was highly valuable and I'll for sure be back.